Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from theturninggate.net. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration and overview of the new TTG Pages 3.0. The purpose of TTG Pages is to create pages for your website. Um, the template creates a home page, a gallery index, an about page, and a contact page. And into that, you would then later install uh, image galleries from a separate template. So I'm on the net right now. Um, this is what a finished site might look like uh, if you're using one of the included templates. So this is the home page. We have a gallery index, which as you can see is empty right now. We'll come back to that. An about page and a contact page with an email contact form. Um, but this is the finished product. Let's take a look at Lightroom. So when you first load up TTG Pages, this is what it looks like. Uh, you've got the default settings over here. Um, and you can dive right in and start changing it right away. You've got full customization controls here in the control panels. For example, if I want to change the background, you can do that. Uh, you can change the ID plate, of course. You can change the color and shape of just about every aspect of the page. So maybe I want these backgrounds to be uh, white or a light gray. Um, you can change the layout of each page simply by telling it where you want things to go. So maybe you want the image on the right and the copy on the left, or you want the image on top and the copy on the bottom. Let's make that a nicer color so we can see what we're doing. And of course, you can change the size of the image on your page down here in Output Settings. You just tell it how big to make things. So it works basically the way you would expect it to. You can change the paragraph and heading content either by clicking and entering in new information. Or you can come over to the Control pane and you've got a section where you can uh, edit the copy for each page. So here I'm looking at home page copy and I can edit the paragraphs, I can create a new header you can see that just showed up down here. I can create a new paragraph again showed up here. Click on that to edit it or just edit it here in the control pane. Um, the controls for the home page and the about page look pretty much the same. If you want to edit the about page, just go up to your menu, flip over to the about page, and start editing that. Um, same thing with the gallery index page. Now, when we looked at the site, the gallery index is empty, and that's because I don't have any image galleries installed right now. Uh, when you look at Lightroom, there's stuff in here. What happens is that it creates a preview from the images you have in your film strip. That way you can look at these boxes while you edit them. But when you export the gallery, they're not going to be here. Um, this is going to be empty because the index is going to be populated by the image galleries that you have on your website. So let's go ahead and do something about that right now. I'm going to jump over to my FTP program. So this is the folder structure of an exported instance of TTG Pages, and there's this Galleries folder. Um, and I've already made a couple of high slide galleries, which I have here on my desktop. So I'm just going to grab these and copy them into the Galleries folder. Now we have to wait a little while while the transfer happens. Let's go back to Lightroom, and we'll come back to this. Um, as I was saying, you style the boxes here. Make them look like whatever you want. And then, of course, you have all the same options for styling the contact page. Now, what we're looking at right now is quite ugly, but you can make something prettier. Or, if you'd like to save yourself some trouble, uh, TTG Pages comes with several presets here that you can select. This one's called Chai Latte. We have Concrete, which is the theme I'm using for this demo page we have here. 
Creative Depart borrows a color scheme from creativedepart.com, a very cool website with some very cool colors. Dark City, a very low key, dark template. Then we have Whiteout, a very high key, everything's white template. So let me jump back to my demo page here. This is what we have online. So I can show you this. If I drop down the appearance pane, I have here options to replace the image on my home page with a flash gallery. Um, I have the same options down here for the about page so I can replace the image on either page with a flash gallery. And the way that works is you simply hit the tick box to tell it I want to put a flash gallery here. You then can change the size of the gallery. You can change the appearance of the gallery, um, the background for example. We're going to leave that white. And then you need to tell it what type of gallery you want to use. So for example if I wanted to use a mono slideshow gallery I would tell it I want to use mono slideshow. And what's going to happen is that here it's going to tell you what you need to name the folder of the slideshow. Now, I've already exported to my desktop a demo. And you can see here, this is an empty box. This is where the flash gallery is going to go. So, I've already exported the flash gallery as well. It's here. Now, just like it told me in Lightroom, I've named it Home Mono Slideshow. I'm going to drop that right into the Pages folder. So you can see it here. There's my slideshow inside the Pages folder. And when I refresh this page, my slideshow is in place. It's as easy as that. You just copy it inside the other. Uh, the only thing is that it has to be named properly. Now you may have seen um, the notification that our transfer is finished. So. Here is my gallery index with no galleries. Uh, and then I just uploaded two galleries. So let's refresh the page. And as you can see, my galleries are right here. Now TTG High Slide and TTG High Slide Pro were the galleries I used to make these. And uh, the current versions actually come with matching templates for TTG pages. So you can see that my image gallery matches the design of my website perfectly. So that about wraps it up for the demonstration of TTG Pages. I hope you like what you see. TTG Pages costs $25 and is available now from theturninggate.net.